Honorable Council Members, uh, friends, family, thank you for joining us today. We have uh, the Honorable Tom Roscoe, who is here with us today. Uh, he's going to give us a quick study session, quick little breakdown on our TIFA that is separate from our budget. And uh, so this is just going to be a quick public hearing, so anybody can have any questions regarding... Hang on one second. All right, my mic was off. Sorry. Thanks, Ange. Um, go ahead. Please join us, Tom. Okay. Thank you, Council Chair, Council Members. Um, uh, this is our kind of our annual uh, update as we touch base. Uh, as you know, each year, um, the TIFA, we have two things really that we come to you with every year. One is our annual audit report that we receive from the auditors, and the other is our proposed budget for the coming year. Uh, this year, uh, as on the agenda, we have, happen to have them both on the same agenda. Uh, it's kind of a, a unique happenstance, but it's nice. We get it all together. Um, the audit report is pretty self-explanatory. You received a copy of it in your agenda packets for today. Um, uh, that's the, the activities of the previous fiscal year. Then uh, also today is, is the uh, annual budget from TIFA. As you know, TIFA was established in Dearborn Heights in 1986. It's established by state act. Uh, although it works with the city, it is a separate legal entity from the city. So um, we've always had, I think, a good working relationship uh, between TIFA and the city of Dearborn Heights, uh, which we're all thankful for, I think. And um, uh, so I just want to, as, as I do every year, want to go through the, the budget with you uh, to see if you have any questions on it. Before you start, Tom, I remember you and I having a conversation about two years ago when we initially added the TIFA to our budget. Mm -hmm. You and I had a conversation. You are your own budget, mm -hmm. your own separate entity, and so yeah. it shouldn't be uh, put into that. And so just for all those at home that are watching or anyone that's on the council that's partially new, uh, we don't add the TIFA uh, budget to our actual budget. Like right. they did in the past. Thank you. Right. This, yeah, this is it's a separate budget that's reviewed yep. by the council separately, and and approved. Uh, uh, you know, in your uh, after your review. You do a great job, Tom. Well, I'll thanks. let you go ahead. Continue. Okay. So uh, the as as you received in the backup, the count the the TIFA board is actually responsible for the budget. Um, I, I, as the administrator, uh, put it together, recommend the budget to the board. They review it, make any changes they want to see. They, uh, they have approved this budget, and then it's sent to the city council for the council's concurrence. Uh, so if you find the page with the budget, it's very short. It's a one-page budget uh, in your packet. Um, the anticipated revenue from the TIF captures, as you see at the, uh, at the beginning, we're anticipating it's going to be about the same as before. Uh, we're trying to be a little conservative on that. Uh, the number in previous years was a little lower, so with the uh, inc small increase that's anticipated by the assessor's office, we're going to keep it at 2.5 million for this year. Uh, there is uh, also in there uh, estimated revenue from court fees. Uh, as you may be aware, the uh, every ticket that's uh, issued by the city uh, court system, there is a fee on there that goes towards help paying the bond, like reimbursing TIFA uh, portion of the bond. Uh, payment that TIF is responsible for. So we've estimated, again, approximately $90,000 income for that. That's something we kind of base it on previous numbers. You don't know how many tickets they're going to write or not write. So uh, it's just kind of a best guess. And then you'll see their fund balance appropriation. Uh, that's money from our savings, basically, that we have from our fund balance that we would anticipate using this year. Uh, and I'll get into that in the expenses below that. So I'm on revenue. Is there any questions on revenue anybody might have? Or? No? Okay. So I'll move on then to the, ex the expenses. Uh, right off the top, as you know, our, our major obligations are the bonds. Uh, TIFA is uh, responsible for the Justice Center bond, both the principal and the interest and fees. Uh, those numbers are established by the, uh, you know, the agreement with the bonds uh, when they were issued. Uh, we also are obligated uh, to... Uh, 42.4% of the JFK library bond, which we uh, pay each year. So that's the number that we would be uh, contributing towards that in the coming year. Uh, the next area we have administration. We don't anticipate any increase in that from the previous year. Um, then we get into the expenses. Uh, the Westwood schools, uh, as you know, uh, we're located in the Westwood school district. And when they set up TIFA years ago, it 
the city reached out to the various school districts to get their support in order to uh, set up that area as part of TIFA. Westwood was the only school district that expressed interest in, in uh, there's a bit of a feedback. Oh. <laughs> oh. There was a, anyways, as I was saying, Westwood was the only one expressed interest in, in uh, participating, so that's why in that area uh, we have the TIFA. So uh, this year the board uh, acted on a request from the school district uh, towards helping with the Robichaud High School gym uh, floor project. Uh, there's, it's in very bad condition. So uh, we're giving them, we have a, a budget and amount towards the, the project there. Uh, industrial park improvements, we're keeping the same. It's a small area of Dearborn Heights that's located in the Tiffa district that's designated as the industrial park. Uh, we have some money available for there. We have the commercial rehab program, which is our grant, small grant program for businesses uh, in the Tiffa district that need help uh, uh, fixing up their facades, things like that on the outside of their buildings. Uh, we have some money available for that again this year. Uh, fire station improvements. Uh, you know, we uh, have fire station number one on Telegraph Road, which is in the TIFA district. Um, that we're uh, working together with the uh, city's um, uh, plan for, you know, capital improvement plan. Uh, we've been talking with the IT department. They need to uh, go with the next step of connecting the buildings with on the, on the network. Uh, so there's, there's costs involved with that. So the TIFA board voted to include money for that for uh, the fire station and then also the uh, JFK library and the, um, uh, the uh, DPW headquarters. And then part of it has to do with the Justice Center, so there's money allocated in there towards that project also. Uh, Justice Center improvements, as I just mentioned, uh, a good, good size portion of that is going to help pay towards the, the main line for the internet, the IT, that will be coming out of the Justice Center towards those buildings uh, in the south end in, in the TIFA district. So uh, then, we have, then we have some money left over uh, available too towards uh, any other small projects that are necessary at the Justice Center. Our annual tree trimming program, uh, we're funding again. The uh, TIF ordinance officer, uh, as you know, a couple years ago we approved uh, putting aside money towards a full-time salary for a full-time uh, ordinance officer in the TIFA district. Previously had been part-time, but we have the money uh, in there last year. And then this year we accounted for the small wage increases that happen. Uh, we have that available and then also um, some money for some IT. They're going to be uh, getting, I believe, some new uh, tablets or whatnot. We'll have money in there available for the TIFA ordinance officer to help cover the cost of their, their uh, tablet or, or laptop. Uh, we have right-of-way maintenance and repair. That's same as always uh, in terms of uh, maintaining properties that we own. We own some vacant properties and, and other issues that may come up with those. We have money available. Daily Park improvements, we are hoping to see some uh, improvements at Daily Park. The board approved a considerable increase in that line item to be able to put uh, some money into uh, increasing the facilities and recreation opportunities there at Daily Park. Uh, Van Boren commercial improvements, um, we have money available again for if you know anything that is decided on uh, improvements to the Van Boren uh, corridor project. We have money available from TIFA to help with those things we can help with. DPW improvements, again, part of that is IT, and also a very large part of that, we've set aside $50,000 in there towards um, some uh, recreation room facilities, a break room uh, that's being uh, worked on to, to see about putting something there, so we have 50000 available. Is it 50000 for the Van Bourne corridor? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then you answer my question if we just waited. Mm -hmm. And then um, beach daily improvements. We have some money available in case we need to make any improvements on, on Beach Daily Road uh, between Michigan Avenue and, and Van Bourne. Uh, crime prevention is something we've always had in there just in case uh, uh, we had always the crime prevention officer in the police department uh, to help to fund that in certain ways. Uh, we keep some money there available in case something like that were to arise again. Uh, we could help with some small expenses. Uh, library improvements, again, that's the IT uh, improvements at the library. Sewers, that's the big one. That's the one that's necessitating us reaching into our savings. Um, as you recall, last year we had appropriated one and a half million to go towards that combined sewer project that needs to be done. Uh, 
due to you know the the circumstances, the project's not going to be taking place until after this this fiscal year's over. So the TIFA board is rolling that million and a half over into the next budget to be able to have available towards that project, um, you know, after July first. And then uh, contingency, we always have some money there just in case, you know, for unexpected things that may happen. So altogether, our budget is uh, just over $4 million. So, thank you. Any, any questions? Council members? I don't have any questions either. Tom? Thank, thank you very much. I have a question, Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. What's your, what's your plans for uh, Daly Park? Well, uh, Hopefully to see some improved uh, facilities there. We're talking with the uh, uh, the parks director uh, to find out what you know can be done there. What's you know in her vision, you know, from the parks department and whatnot. So we're trying to coordinate, to try to get as much as we can uh, uh, coordinating with grants that are available out there, mm -hmm. so we can pick up part of you know the match or whatever to be able to maximize what we can put into the park. You know, ideally, you'd like to see, you know, extra recreation equipment, you know, hopefully maybe some upgraded uh, equipment for ADA and, and special needs and things like that. But, you know, we kind of rely on the experts for that. We just we put some money aside and, and work out what can be done. <coughs> Nothing sure? specific? Not, not yet. Uh, I, I, another question I have is you mentioned the uh, money for the break room. Uh -huh. and that, that was for the DPW? Yep. Because I was, I was there about a week ago, and I took pictures of it I could pass around, but uh, their break room is out, right out in the middle, not in the middle, but where the, the trucks are parked, and uh, birds get into that area, and there's bird poop out on their microwave, oh, wow. bird poop on the chairs that they sit in, because the birds get in there, and they, oh, they wow. roost up above in the beams, and it was terrible. Yeah. I mean, city council approved something... Yeah, At least a year ago, to to build them a break room. Two years ago. Yeah, and uh, nothing's happened since then. And I don't know if that money's still available to go along with your money, or we could use our money that we approved, and you can use that fifty thousand someplace else. But I think that's something the that city council should look into because that money was approved for for a break room for the DPW or the uh, DPW department. Mr. Deep, can you talk on that a little bit? Are we, what are we waiting on for this break room, guys? Let's just, let's just build a break room. I promise you I can get it framed out in two weeks. If you want me to hire my own people, I'll get it done in two weeks. Um, Councilman Winsall, um, you're right. It was approved. Uh, there wasn't enough money. So when we, when we brought in two contractors, three actually, uh, for a walkthrough, the, the uh, budget numbers we received uh, were three times our budget. So that's why it wasn't built. And it wasn't one they wanted to. So if you actually saw the area that was open where the tires track mm -hmm. used to be, so they wanted a separate track, a separate room for the mechanics from the water people. So it became two rooms. Um, I'm arguing that one room should be um, large enough for both, but um, that's not what the walkthrough, we actually went on the walkthrough with the contractor. So if you add this and you separate the area to block the birds from going in and put a separate air conditioning system, in, yeah, the cost will go up quite a bit. So I, I'm mean, arguing not, yes, sir. I don't mean to interrupt you. Bring it to us. Inform us. Tell the council that, hey, we agree see this bit. It's too expensive. What do you guys want to do? Um, I just the, 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 budget, the, the budget was set from the prior year. We can amend the budget. to fluid the document. Okay. Ask Councilman, uh, former Councilman Muskett. I'm working with this gentleman on um, uh, sources so that we can augment what we have and then and use his money to do one large. Um, as soon as the budgets are get approved this year, we'll be proceeding with that. I, I just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to critique and criticize a few things. Okay. No, and I, I want you to know, two years we've waited. If this was the golf course, we'd have it done in two months. Because that's how fast we were getting things yeah, done I'm over waiting here. waiting for the clapping, but... I'm, I'm I, no clapping. I just want you to know. Let's treat it like the golf course. Okay. You know, th these are our employees. You know what? And we're going to honor the former councilman, uh, Dave Abdullah, former council chair. Because this is something that he really, really, really uh, prided himself on. And it was, he did it because we want our DPW employees to feel like they have dignity and a place to sit and have, uh, you know, just a free space. All I can comment is during the budget time, it was supposed to be a simple working uh, break room. When we got on site and we took the contractors for a walk, it became a Taj Mahal. And that's why the Taj Mahal cost. because the contractors wanted to do that? No, or because no, because of what people were asking. No, that's we not were asking for that. Yeah, just put a, he, you didn't even put a mini split in there. It gives you heat and AC. Okay. <laughs> 
right. they, they, they do it all over the place. Okay. No need for the clapping, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Deep, thank you. Can we, can we stay on top of that? And if we can, maybe, maybe it seems like we need to bump that budget up a little bit for uh, that break room. I don't know. Maybe we can move some money around. On your end, yeah. Like, this is the, the, the tip of board set this budget already. I know. So, yeah. I figured I'd ask, right? Never hurts. Right. Yeah. So I uh, just wanted to end with, uh, you know, it takes a lot of people with TEFA. It's not just me. You know, uh, there's, we have our office secretary. We have the board members. I want to thank everybody for their input, uh, for people at the city that we work with. As uh, you might recall, I, I left a little flyer in your mailboxes uh, a few weeks ago. It just kind of gives a little highlights of some of the stuff TIFA does. So, How many people are on the board? The board, uh, currently we have 12. Right. Plus ex officio, so 13. Do you have their names on paper right now? Yeah, it's on the. Why don't we go ahead and read them out so that we can recognize them? Okay. <laughs> okay, so we have our chairman, Tim Emery. Uh, Tim does a great job, by the way. Right, right. And we also have uh, Rachel Felice, Richard Fetzer, Eleanor Gennadik, M. Hussein Hojej, David Hull, Donald Killian, Lisa Cordy, Tanya Sterlini, Donald Willis, and Cheryl Wojciechowski. And then the city council representative, Bob Constant. And uh, I, I should mention, too, uh, just recently we were notified, unfortunately, of the passing of one of our board members, uh, Mr. William Davis. He used oh. to come to the meetings just a couple months ago. He passed away. So. Why don't we do a moment of silence for Mr. Oh. William Davis? Thank you. May you rest so, uh, in peace. Okay, so that's all I have, unless anybody has any other questions. Uh, Councilman Amada, I thought I'm, you no, I'm good. I'm good. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. Thank okay. you so much, sir. Thank you. We're Thank good you. to go. Yeah. All right. That was uh, our quick study session. If you guys want to take maybe a three, four second break, maybe not three, four seconds, but three, four minute break, stretch. Uh, I don't know why I got here at five o'clock today, but. 430. Right here. Was Tim part of that too? In memory? Tim, Tim did, is there something that you wanted to say or add on? Or were you good? Yeah. Because we had a big packet. He's muted. Un unmute him, please. Okay. Yeah, I'm, uh, my son works for the DPW and they asked him, he says, your dad's on the tip of board. So uh, I made a few suggestions of the evening possible possibly getting uh, a couple used construction trailers to put in into place. Uh, so something to think about. Thank you so much. Yep. Councilwoman Breyer, anything else? That's all. Thank you. <laughs>